For the sign of Sagittarius, hello and welcome to my channel. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and the person in this connection, or you and the person you're involved with. Well, we got the Nine of Cups and it's with the Three of Swords. The Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive. It's only short of one cup from the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the tops. So Nine of Cups is not bad. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean what you're hoping for or dreaming about. It's most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. The appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. Now, it's interesting because it's with the Three of Swords, which is showing an element of sorrow. And this sorrow is undeniable. But what's on the other side, the flip side of this sorrow, can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to experience any sadness or pain that came up at that time so that you can move past it. This card, it points to maybe a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it does not make it go away. It doesn't. So it would have been important for you to experience any pain or sadness that came up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others, they cannot do it for you. So, the recent past energy between you and your person, Nine of Clubs, clarified with this Three of Swords. So, what I'm getting is that you, this person that you're with, they, you felt like this person was a, a wish come true. This was a wish come true, this connection. And yeah, a lot of, you had um, very strong desire for this person. And they made you feel really blessed and satisfied. But then something happened and there was heartbreak. You got your heart broke by this person. Um, there could have been some rejection. You two could have started to shut each other out and close yourself off to each other. You, you might have even severed ties. But yeah, there was heartbreak and a lot of sadness. But at one point, this was a very, very beautiful experience, this Nine of Cups. Like I said, you felt this person was your wish. This was a wish come true for you. But then something happened and it just... Something caused a lot of heart, heartbreak and sorrow and sadness. So, that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for you, for you two. Well, we got the Seven of Pentacles and we got the Strength card. Seven of Pentacles is about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or it could be figuratively, such as investments of time, energy, and effort you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. And this is positive. So you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things should be, things should be moving along really well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. Yeah, so it's about the energy and effort you put into something. You see how she's watering this plant. And it was probably just a little tiny baby when she first got it. Now it's huge. The leaves are green and it's it's very healthy. And it's because she put in a lot of energy and effort into it. So that's the Seven of Pentacles now. We've got the Strength card with this. The strength card can be about meditating, contemplating, spending some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids. 
the outward things will be going all right but what's most important is keeping your head on straight not only do you have the ability but you have the responsibility so the strength card is about conquering any fears and controlling your impulses and never losing patience with yourself or what you're trying to do so this is what we got coming up for you Sagittarius seven of Pentacles and the strength card for you and your person well, there was some heartbreak for the recent past for the two of you in the connection. But now it looks like um, there's going to be a lot of energy and effort put into making this connection work. I don't know if you're trying to make it work again or the two are still together and you're just putting in some energy. This could be you or your person, because I think the both of you want it to be a mutually strong relationship, mutually supportive and beneficial. That's what you get with the strength card. The strength card, it, it's about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. It's about acceptance, being patient. It's about a strong relationship, and this is what you both want. So I'm picking up that. The both of you might be putting a lot of energy and effort into the connection to bring it back to where it once was when it felt like it was a wish come true so that's what we got coming up for you let's see what the challenge is well we got the eight of wands and it's with the chariot now the eight of wands it's showing that there could be some things up in the air for the two of you you may feel frustrated tired of waiting but this card is an indicator that you have to be patient a while longer you've probably done all that you can do now decisions they must be made by other people so it could feel like nothing is moving ahead but make sure you don't force things because if you try to force things it could backfire on you You've done all that you, you you can. You put whatever you need to do out there. Now you just have to wait and see where it lands. So it's with a chariot, which is indicating a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's, it's directed. It's controlled. And it actually has a goal in mind. So you're likely to be really clear on what your hopes and dreams involve. And what you're willing to do to, do to make them come true. So this card is about determination and ambition. And proving that you've got what it takes. So it is a sign that you should move forward. With, with whatever you have in your mind. And in your heart. And give it your best shot. So the challenge is that something is. You guys are trying to make something happen. Or this could be you trying to make something happen. It could be a lot of communication, talk and discussion. Um, and you're just not wanting to wait for it. Yeah, you want it, you want it, you want it to happen now. But things seem like it's, things seems like, it seems like things are up in the air. So, and the chariot goes really fast, so... Your person is planning to take action towards you. Like I said, there could be some communication coming in. But the challenge is going to be it's, it's not happening as fast as you would like for it to. Because you see the wands, they're pretty much up in the air. They haven't come down yet. But it's coming in. Don't force things. Don't force it because it could backfire on you. But your person is planning to take action towards you in a very positive way. So that's the challenge. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the full card, which is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it does indicate the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We know children that trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. 
Now, the Fool card is usually considered a really positive card, but there can be one thing that's going to be important for you to take time to make sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. As you can see, that's what he's doing in the picture. He's ready for a new day, a new beginning. He's just ready to jump right on in there. But he's not really looking where he's going, so... Yeah. Just be careful. Because you're ready to just dive right in. Now, it's with this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is about success. Could be with money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot... That's money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's a sign that now is a time not to be a maverick, though. It's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So if this does stand for an actual person in your life, this could be a very masculine type. could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. But just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust absolutely. This person could be career focused. They're not afraid of commitment. They're considered to be uh, good fathers, very stable. So what we have for the outcome is, like I said, you, your person, you and your person went through some heartbreak or they put you through some heartbreak or you put them through some heartbreak at one point it felt like a this connection felt like a wish come true so it looks like you guys are trying to start all over again and make it mutually supportive and beneficial and strong like it once was your person is planning to take action yeah you two want things to go really fast to get it back on track. It could be a lot of communication going back and forth. But certain things are not happening fast enough. So that's going to be a challenge. Yes, yeah, so Sagittarius, you're ready to jump right, right on in there with this person. You're ready to just take a leap of faith and give it a, give it a second chance. This person that you're dealing with they're the king of pinnacles. They want success with you. Yeah, they want to get it right again. They want to make it happen. They're not afraid to, to lock it down and make it secure and committed. They want success with you. And this king of pinnacles is good. Like I said, they want to be stable, civilized, take things... Um, slow and steady with you. Good father type. So it looks like you got you got a good one here. You guys just went through some some heartbreak. Well, that's a recent past energy, but it looks like you guys are coming out of that, and you're ready to jump right on in there. Yeah, and they want success. So this is beautiful. So Sagittarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying strong and safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's gonna pass. We'll all get through this. Please come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, some of you asked me if you're not dealing with anyone, how could this be? Well, because they're not personal readings, they're general readings, so you have to take it for however it, it fits your situation. 
So yes, this could be a friend, this could be a family member with, that you're dealing with. But for the most part, it's a love interest. But take it for however it fits your situation. So I can never say enough, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Reading. And take care. Reading.